this is what I want and this is what I love, I'm gonna do my best. Action. Hi, my name is Ellery Sablon. I am a singer-songwriter from Guam who's come here to LA. Grew up in the beautiful build me up building blocks. I wrote Backwards California earlier this year, actually um, during the NAMM show. I'm kind of reflecting um, about my life the past few years because I've been coming here for college, tracing my steps from when I first started to you know what the future might potentially hold. So yeah, it's a nostalgic song. But My dad has been a musician for almost 50 years now. Started off in a heavy metal band called Black Storm. He married my mom and they went back to Guam and he started being in bands over there. And they would practice in our backyard. Little Ellery would go into the back and, you know, listen to them perform and sing along to a bunch of 80s songs or Maroon 5 songs. That she will be loved. Respect, birdie taught me patience. These I'm trying to project into a positive Person, but Probably in fourth grade, joined choir because my dad wanted me to pursue something musical or they thought it would be, you know, great. I actually landed a solo. It was the peanut butter and jelly sandwich song. A peanut butter jelly sandwich. Mm. <laughs> and then I fell in love with the ukulele, which is my primary, um, you know, real instrument. I have baby hands, and so I couldn't really play the guitar or like the piano super well. And so I found a ukulele. I was like, hey, my baby hands can actually play like chords and stuff. My uncle Johnny Sablon is a prominent music uh, figure back home. He's written so many songs in Chamorro, the native language, and one of those songs is uh, "No Bia Neni," which is a uh, which is a love song um, talking about this girl that he was in love with and only being able to see her in his dreams. I just fell in love with how beautiful the song is. It's really sweet and meaningful. Um, and it, it's all in Chamorro, but you know the gist of it is, of course, like you know. I am in love with this this woman. She's I just see her in my dreams and I I miss her. I actually wrote that song during a really hard time in my life. Just kind of um, being tired of living the same way over and over again and feel, constantly feeling stuck. So I wrote that song kind of as like my anthem to kind of encourage myself and anyone else who feels like they're kind of trapped in a really tough situation and just encouraging them like, hey, we were all meant to like do great things. It's fun music. It's music that makes you want to dance. I definitely keep kind of an island vibe to it, um, you know, just because that's where, you know, what I'm used to, what I grew up uh, listening to. If that's your dream and you really want, want to do it, then just give it all that you have. I was lucky enough to have really supportive parents and a, you know really supportive people around me. There were times where I didn't really want to do it. I got kind of tired of it, but honestly, through that, you know, just pushing through like those tough moments where you're just like, oh, I don't really want to do this. It's so worth it in the end because, you know, I'm here. I'm, you know, talking with Philip. I'm here at Vision Quest Sound and um, I'm, you know, I have an EP out. Like there's just so many things that I have always dreamed of accomplishing. So um, I think just reminding yourself that if this is what I want and this is what I love, I'm going to do my best. I was really uh, lucky to have one of my teachers be Adam Watts. He's worked on a High School Musical and uh, Camp Rock and um, Jesse McCartney. Also a shout out to uh, Sam Vance. He's uh, my best friend. He's the one who's been playing um, piano and he's been one of my uh, main uh, supporters uh, back at school. I love him, he's great. Um, and also shout out to Ray because she's the person who would drive me to and from the studio and she's one of my really close friends and so I love her. So I'm breaking the cycle I know that
everybody. I'm going to be opening for Brian McKnight when I go back home for a fundraiser to support the uh, Guam Enough is Enough movement to end uh, sexual abuse and uh, domestic violence within families. And so like that's definitely an organization that I'm I feel very strongly about because um, growing up on Guam and having, I'm the oldest of five kids um, and I have three sisters, making the island a safe place, that's something that like I am, I feel very strongly about. Blistered hands and blistered feet. Well, first off, I'd be like, how did you get here? Because it's Guam and this is definitely not where you know you're supposed to be. I would make him my best friend just because I love animals. I think I would name him Pop Tart. Pop Tart the penguin. So I'm breaking the cycle. I like to paint. I painted these jeans. I painted them with acrylic paint and so this is a Puntin and Fauna and they are responsible for creating the world or according to Chamorro legend. And I know for sure that Billie Eilish, uh, Tyler the Creator, Kehlani. I was meant for something more. Thank you to everybody who supported me on uh, my journey um, ever since I started. I really could not have done it without my family, without my friends. I love you all. And if I could, I would give you all hugs, um, but I'll settle for a virtual one right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yet I just keep pushing on. You can follow me on YouTube uh, at Ellery Music. Check me out on Spotify, on Instagram at Ellery Music. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ellery and you are watching Vision Quest Sound. That's what happens when you're born and raised in